Hey, it's Dr. Glenn Davies for Reversal NZ and Reverse T2 Diabetes Topol. Uh, today I'm going to, uh, we're going to look at a photograph which was introduced to me uh, in Jason Fung's book, The Diabetes Code. So I'm just going to show you that um, slide. It's still on my computer rather than me printing it out. So if you'll excuse me for a minute, I'll spin the camera around. And let's uh, have a look at that slide. So what you can see is a whole lot of people standing on a platform in the underground in Japan. You can see a train and a carriage which is already full of people. And you can see a couple of men employed by the railway company. Um, forcing more people into the train because the carriages are so full that they can't close the door. So, so just keep that image in mind because that is the most pertinent and stunning image of what type 2 diabetes is. So, so the photograph is an analogy for helping us to understand exactly what type 2 diabetes is. So Think of the people on the subway wanting to get into the train as glucose molecules. Think of the carriages as the cells. And think of the railway pushers, which is actually what they're called, the, the two men pushing the people into the carriages. Uh, think of them as insulin. So let's just uh, create a little bit of a story now. So a whole lot of very bright people were employed by the subway uh, to try and solve this problem. Uh, so there were engineers, uh, there were doctors, there were scientists, uh, there were software engineers. They all came together uh, to say, how can we solve this problem? Uh, one of them said, well, the carriages clearly aren't big enough. We need bigger carriages to fit more people in. So yeah, that's, that's potentially a solution. Uh, another one said, well, we need more railway pushes. We could force more people in if we pushed harder. Um, but it happened to be during lockdown and one of the engineers brought with him uh, his four-year-old son. And the four-year-old son pulled on his leg and said, um, Dad, Dad, aren't there just too many people trying to get on the trains? What if some of them worked from home? You know, and, and this is the exact... Um, contradiction that we are talking about at uh, Reversal NZ and Type 2 Diabetes Topor and what the pharmaceutical companies are talking about. So the pharmaceutical companies are talking about more railway pushes, more insulin. How can we get more insulin to force more glucose into the cells? And what we're talking about, we're trying to be like the four-year-old child who said, Dad, aren't there just too many people trying to get on the trains? What if there were less people getting on the trains? So type 2 diabetes is too much glucose trying to get into the cell and we need more and more insulin to force it in. What if we didn't put the glucose in in the first place? And you know, it's such an obvious solution. You know, the four-year-old child saw it, but all of the pharmacologists and scientists and engineers couldn't see it. The solution is just don't put the glucose in in the first place. So don't eat sugar, don't eat carbohydrates. Remember that all carbohydrates become glucose and all that glucose has to be transported into the cell and the more glucose there is, the more insulin you require. So, you know, this is a stunning example. This, this really summarizes uh, what this is all about and it's not about more insulin. It's about less glucose in the first place. So remember, one standard serving of rice is 10 teaspoon equivalents of sugar. One piece of bread is 3 teaspoon equivalent of sugar. You know, so all of these carbohydrate foods, all of the sugar that we're eating, it all needs to be forced into the cell. That pushes up insulin levels. So, you know, the key to reversing type 2 diabetes and reversing obesity 
is not to put the glucose in the first place, not to put the carbohydrates in in the first place, then you won't need the railway pushes, you know, because you won't need those high levels of insulin because there's just the right amount of glucose in the blood, just the right, right amount of insulin in the cells. So it's a fantastic book. It's called The Diabetes Code by Jason Fong. Um, and I'm just going to flick back to that slide again, just so you can imprint that in your mind. You know, because this here is the absolute analogy of what type 2 diabetes is. There are just too many people standing on the platform. Um, let's ask some of those people to work from home. They won't be standing on the platform. They won't have to be forced into the train. So... That's what type 2 diabetes is. Um, I hope you're all enjoying your Waitangi weekend and I will leave you to get back to what you're doing. Cheers.